One, two. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please take your seats? The ceremony will be beginning shortly. Please take your seats. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Please be seated. Welcome to Galveston and the commissioning of the United States ship, Gabrielle Giffords. I am the ship's executive officer, Commander Sean Cowan. It is my privilege to be your master of ceremonies for today. Before our ceremony begins, please take a moment to silence your cell phones. We are here today to celebrate the commissioning of USS Gabrielle Giffords, the 10th of the class of littoral combat ships. Littoral combat ships are unique in the Navy's ship design. The primary mission of the LCS can be changed from surface warfare to anti-submarine warfare or mine warfare simply by changing out the mission modules on the ship. The LCS is designed to operate in water too shallow for other Navy ship classes. This class also has a very large flight deck and blazing speed in excess of 40 knots. It truly is a revolutionary design. The ship before you was christened on June 13th, 2015 at Austell Corporation in Mobile, Alabama. Today she is complete, and we are proud to serve in the newest warship in the United States Navy. This ship's cruise, this ship's crews are honored to carry Gabrielle Gifford's proud name as we defend the American way of life whenever and wherever we may be called. A dedicated public servant, former Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords was the youngest woman ever elected to the Arizona State Senate. She represented her community in the Arizona legislature from 2000 to 2005, and then in Congress from 2006 
to 2012. In Congress, Congresswoman Giffords represented a diverse area that covers 9,000 square miles, including a 114 mile border with Mexico. She was consistently ranked as one of the most centrist legislators in Congress. On January 8, 2011, at a Congress on Your Corner event in Tucson with her constituents, Congresswoman Giffords was shot in the head from near point blank range. In stepping down from Congress in January 2012, Congresswoman Giffords said, I will return and we will work together for Arizona in this great country. In 2013, Congresswoman Giffords and her husband, Navy combat veteran and retired NASA astronaut, Captain Mark Kelly, founded Americans for Responsible Solutions. Congresswoman Giffords holds a master's degree in regional planning from Cornell University and a Bachelor of Arts degree from Scripps College. She resides in her beloved hometown of Tucson, Arizona. Our ceremony today is a time-honored tradition, which began with the commissioning of our first ship in 1775. Since then, thousands of ships have undergone the transformation from silent hull to fully alive warship. Our commissioning crew, hereafter known as plank owner, owners, are in formation among you and ready. In just a few moments, the Navy Band Southeast and the Naval Station Norfolk Armory will render honors to the Honorable Nancy Pelosi Democratic Leader, United States House of Representatives. We would like to thank the Texas A&M Maritime Academy Color Guard for presenting the nation's colors today.
Ship's Company, Atan Hut. Will the guests please rise and remain standing for the arrival of our official party, honors, and the invocation. Ladies and gentlemen, our platform guests. Reverend John Turner, Senior Pap Pastor, First Baptist Church of Galveston. Captain Brian Lawrence, United States Navy, Commanding Officer, Supervisor of Shipbuilding, Gulf Coast. Captain Thomas Anderson, United States Navy, Littoral Combat Ship Program Manager. Captain Jordy Harrison, United States Navy, Commander, Littoral Combat Ship Squadron One. Mr. Tillman Fertitta, CEO and owner of Landry's Incorporated and Chairman, USS Gabrielle Giffords, Commissioning Committee. Mr. Craig Percivali, President, Austell, USA. Rear Admiral John Nagley, United States Navy, Program Executive Officer for Littoral Combat Ships. The Honorable James Yarborough, Mayor of Galveston, Texas. Ms. Allison Stiller, Principal Civilian Deputy, performing the duties as Assistant Secretary of the Navy, Research, Development, and Acquisition. The Honorable Randy Weber, United States Representative, 14th District, State of Texas. Admiral William Moran, United States Navy, Vice Chief of Naval Operations. The Honorable Hillary, Hillary Clinton, the 67th Secretary of State and former United States Senator, State of New York. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our ship's namesake, the Honorable Gabrielle Giffords, escorted by her husband, Captain Mark Kelly, United States Navy, retired. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our ship sponsor, Dr. Jill Biden, escorted today by Command Master Chief Rick Bolton. Ladies and gentlemen, the Honorable Nancy Pelosi, Democratic Leader, United States House of Representatives, escorted today by our commanding officer, Commander Keith Woodley, United States Navy. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, honors for the Honorable Nancy Pelosi. Platform, hand salute.
Platform, ready, two. Advance the colors. Retire the colors. Platform ready, two. Ladies and gentlemen, Reverend Turner will deliver the invocation. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for this day, for the beautiful weather. Thank you for the honor of being able to invoke your great name as we ask for blessing upon this ship. Father, I pray as we go throughout this ceremony that we would go with the understanding of knowing that although we're commissioning a ship and we're asking for your blessing upon that ship, that the ship is more than just metal and machinery, but it's the men and women who serve upon that ship. So Father, just as Jacob blessed Joseph, that with all bitterness, archers attacked him and shot him with hostility. His bow remained steady. His strong arms stayed limber because the hand of the mighty one, because of the shepherd, because of the rock, because of our Father's God, because of the Almighty, he was blessed. So Father, we ask that same blessing, that same prayer on the men and women who are currently serving on this ship and all who ever will serve upon this ship. We pray that although the enemy may fire at them, that they would remain strong and their arms limber. Father, we love you and praise you. It is in Jesus' great name that we pray. Amen. Will the guests please be seated? Ship's company, parade, rest. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Tilden Fertitta, CEO and owner of Landry's Incorporated. Welcome everybody, uh, platform guests, to have everybody here for such a 
extremely special day. I was so fortunate to be with Mark and Gabby when we went to the Pentagon and they announced the ship, USS Gabby Giffords, and I can tell you there's nobody more deserving. We saw you, Mr. Vice President, that day. It was a special day. Then to go to the christening in Alabama, but when Mark and Gabby and I started talking about the commissioning, there's only two places to do it, Arizona or Galveston, Texas, because of our connections. Well, you weren't going to do it in Arizona. So welcome, everybody, today. And what a special day this is to be able to commission this ship in Galveston, Texas. We thank all of y'all so much for coming out. I want our Galveston mayor, who I've known my whole life growing up here, to give you a great Galveston welcome. But welcome to Galveston, everybody. Mr. Jim Yarbrough, Galveston Texan mayor. Good afternoon. We want to welcome you to our home, to Galveston, Texas. What a wonderful day it is, and we want to extend a special welcome to all of our special guests, our dignitaries, and our platform guests. You know, Galveston is a city with a rich history, 175 years in the maritime business. And so we are very proud to host, and be the host site for this uh, commissioning. It's just yet another feather in our cap, another stripe on our wall, another significant achievement for this community. As a token of our appreciation and as a way to communicate the significance of this wonderful day, it is my honor to present to Commander Woodley and his crew a key to our island city and let it serve as a remembrance that wherever this ship goes, wherever the men and women who serve on this ship goes, the eyes of Texas will always be upon you. Thank you and welcome to Galveston. Thank you, Mayor Yarborough. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Craig Percivali, President, Oslo, USA. Thank you. Vice President Biden, Secretary Clinton, Representative Pelosi, Representative Weber, Admiral Moran, Ms. Stiller, Mayor Yarborough, our ship sponsor, Dr. Jill Biden, our namesake, Gabrielle Giffords, distinguished guests, Ladies and gentlemen, I'm truly honored to represent Austell USA on this fine Navy day as we commission the USS Gabrielle Giffords, absolutely the coolest ship on the planet. What do you think? This innovative yet cost-effective high-speed aluminum trimaran is a formidable warship on the cutting edge of our nation's defense and forward presence. With unprecedented speed, volume, and capability that meets the needs of the Navy today while having the versatility and flexibility to adjust to the ever-changing requirements of tomorrow. Designed and built by over 4,000 of the world's finest shipbuilders at Austin, USA, along with our incredible partners at General Dynamics Mission Systems and over 450 other suppliers across 37 states, the USS Gabrielle Giffords will project America's strength, compassion, and determination around the world during peacetime and conflict, exhibiting kindness to our friends in need and toughness to those who think about doing us harm. The same qualities her namesake, Gabby Giffords, and sponsor, Jill Biden, live by every day. I can't tell you how proud we are to build this cool ship, named and sponsored by two incredible people. There's no doubt Secretary Mabus made the perfect choice in tying these two incredible women to this ship. I'd like to thank our Navy partners, led by Admiral Nagley, Captain Anderson, and Captain Lawrence for their leadership and support for this program, along with the incredible support from the state of Alabama and the city and county of Mobile. This ship 
and this program provide opportunity for so many and has strengthened the industrial base, which is so vital to our nation's defense and prosperity. Admiral Moran, we embrace the Navy's confidence in our ships and will continue to build on that confidence as we build more of these great ships in support of the Navy's desire to achieve a 350-plus ship Navy. Commander Woodley, we've built you a great ship, but a ship is nothing without its crew. And there are no sailors better in this world that bring out the best of the Gabrielle Giffords than yours. <clears throat> From the 4,000 plus proud Americans at Austin, USA and the rest of the industry team, as well as the entire state of Alabama, we wish you fair winds and following seas as Gabrielle Giffords fulfills her role in defending our freedom across the globe. Thank you and your sailors so very much for your service to our great nation. I'll tell you, it's days like today that remind me of just how blessed I am to be an American. God bless the ship, those who sail on her, and God bless America. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Percivali. Ladies and gentlemen, the Honorable Randy Weber, United States Representative, 14th District, State of Texas. Vice President Biden, Dr. Jill Biden, Secretary Clinton, Leader Pelosi, the Honorable Gabriella Giffords, Captain Mark Kelly, distinguished guests, many of our Congress members are here. Ladies and gentlemen, it is an absolute honor to be here today. Welcome to the 14th Congressional District of Texas. And let me add while you're here, please spend lots of money. <laughs> Patriotism, patriotism abounds here, and we are humbled to host this commissioning. It's not every day we have a ship commissioning. So let me just tell you, I think there are two consistent themes that need to be highlighted. First, Galveston, Texas is without question one of the most proud supporters of our United States Navy. We always have been and we always will be. Give them a hand. <laughs> Secondly, our great Navy exemplifies courage and bravery in everything that it does. These values are shared among the ship's namesakes. Seven years after the initial purchase of littoral combat, littoral combat ships, we are gathered here today for the commissioning of the ninth vessel, the Gabrielle Giffords. Committed to protection and prevention, the Gabrielle Giffords has the distinguished honor of being part of the amphibious ready group of ships. As a littoral combat ship in the U.S. Navy, she is a multi-mission, multi-purpose ship, capable of participating in submarines, and helicopter missions, even underwater dem dem uh, demolitions and electronic countermeasures. Littoral combat ships are meant for near shore monitoring. They're quick, they're quiet, they're equipped, they're deadly. Our enemies will find out. Maritime strategy has been and continues to be a critical part of our national security, defense, and our success. This week alone, we were reminded of the important role of the United States Navy in both the 75th anniversary of the Battle of Midway and the 73rd anniversary in the, in the D-Day. Even today, ladies and gentlemen, we lost two American soldiers in Afghanistan. Our United States Navy, look around, that's them in the crowd, the fighting men and women of the United States Navy. They are the world's premier naval force. None can compare.
Our men and women in the Navy, they are the protectors of our very freedom. Please give them a hand. So we can take great comfort in knowing that they're on the front lines and they're protecting us. May we always remember the men and women who built and manned this ship, our men and women who serve in our great United States Navy, our good friend, Miss Gabrielle Giffords, for whom this ship is named. You know, Gabrielle, it would have been a pleasure to serve with you in the House of Representatives. I came in after you left. But I tell you what, I'm extremely grateful to be here with you today. So thank you, glad you're here. Thank you all for honoring her and the ship. May God bless you. May God bless the state of Texas and America. Thank you, Congressman Weber. Ladies and gentlemen, the Honorable Nancy Pelosi, Democratic Leader, United States House of Representatives. Good morning, everyone. I know I can speak for everyone when I say it is a privilege to join in this great gathering of patriots and the distinguished constellation of dignitaries, members of this platform, celebrating a proud day for the U.S. Navy and for the United States of America. Vice President Biden, ship sponsor Dr. Jill Biden, Secretary Clinton, Admiral Moran, Commander, Com Commander Woodley, Congressman Weber, our host, Mayor Yarbrough, it's an honor to be here for this time-honored ceremony. Thank you, Tillman Farat, for Tita for making this historic occasion such an unforgettable and joyous one. I brought my grandchildren today, they live in Houston, and I told them that this was going to be an historic occasion. And they're here, and it's not only, it's not only about history, it's about the future. I told them this will be a day they will tell their grandchildren about, that they were there when this ship was named and launched for Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords. I'm proud to be here with many members of the House of Representatives. We have a large delegation. I wish they would rise to be acknowledged, my colleagues. And I bring greetings from colle colleagues on both sides of the aisle, on both sides of the Capitol, all paying tribute to this ship and her, hero her heroic namesake, Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords. And thank you to all of the men and women of labor whose skill and hard work built this ship. Let us acknowledge them for making this possible because their hard work is keeping America safe. Thank you also to Austral USA and President Craig Percivali, who is a graduate of the Merchant Marine Academy. Any Kings Point people here? There they are. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Again. And to the sailors, the brave men and women who will take this ship ready to do battle. To you and your families, and on behalf of the United States Congress, Thank you for honoring us with your service and your courage. And as the beautiful national anthem, which we all just sang, said, making us the home of the brave and the land of the free. Thank you to the sailors. I grew up in Maryland, where we took special pride in the U.S. Naval Academy at Annapolis. Anybody go there? <laughs> I'm proud that my nephew will report to the Naval Academy in two weeks uh, at, at, to enter the Naval Academy. Where our family considers that a great source of pride, even though four of my brothers served in the Army. But today is a special, proud Navy day for many reasons, including a family reason that Gabby is married to a great Navy man and astronaut, Captain Mark Kelly. Today, we commission a ship named for a woman who personifies the constant courage, the boundless strength, and the dauntless fighting spirit that is the pride of the U.S. Navy. 
and the End of the World. Gabrielle Giffords. Courage defines the Navy. It is the backbone of everything we do embodied in the Navy creed. Semper Fortis, always courageous. As Secretary Mabus said, we have named this ship for someone, and I quote, synonymous with courage who has inspired the nation with remarkable resilience and showed the possibilities of the human spirit. Indeed, throughout the world and throughout America, there isn't a name more universally loved, more admired, more respected than the name of Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords. Let us give credit to her mom, Gloria, who is with us today. Thank you for her. The bravery of Congresswoman Giffords is well known. Her courage and Mark's outstanding leadership are making our country safer every day. But I want to speak also to the depth of her commitment to the men and women in uniform throughout her time in the Congress and since. As the proud representative of two military bases, as a leading voice on the Armed Services Committee, Congresswoman Giffords worked every day, led every day, to support our service members, our military families, our wounded warriors, our veterans, all who have worn the uniform from all branches of the military. The patriotism and the heroism of Congresswoman Giffords and Captain Mark Kelly embody the highest ideals of our nation. They are the ideals that U.S. Navy ships advance and defend all over the world. They are the ideals that give us the strength to face even the darkest storm, the toughest enemy, and say, I am ready. Commander Woodley, as the USS Gabrielle Giffords comes alive with her outstanding crew, may the courage and leadership of her namesake be matched by the strength of our nation's commitment to support all of you, both as you defend democracy abroad and when you come safely home. May God bless the USS Gabrielle Giffords. God has certainly blessed America with the leadership and service of Gabrielle Giffords. May God bless the brave men and women who will serve aboard it and the families who wait for their safe return. Again, may God bless all of you and the United States of America. Thank you. Thank you, Leader Pelosi. Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Allison Stiller, Principal Civilian Deputy, performing duties of Assistant Secretary of the Navy, Research, Development, and Acquisition. Thank you, EXO. Vice President Biden, members of Congress, distinguished platform guests, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. I'm delighted to be here representing Acting Secretary of the Navy, Sean Stackley, at the commissioning of this great ship. Many thanks to Mr. Farida and the entire commissioning committee who have worked so hard to make this day a reality. Today, as we bring this ship to life, I ask that we pause and thank the thousands of servicemen and women who are today sacrificing so much to keep this great nation free. And to those veterans in the audience, thank you for your service. The state of Texas is a fitting place to commission a U.S. Navy warship. More than 55,000 sailors and Marines call Texas home. Many future Navy and Marine Corps officers get their start at Naval ROTC units at Texas colleges and universities. And Texas is home to 70 Medal of Honor recipients. So the Texas tradition of service continues today with the commissioning of this ship. Whether here in Texas, on the East Coast, or on the West, our security, our strength of our economy and the face of our diplomacy largely depend upon the Navy's ability to maintain global presence and exercise freedom of the seas. And so, our Navy and Marine Corps team operates forward. And today, like most days, nearly half of our Navy's 275 ship fleet is underway. 
As Secretary Mattis has said, we are in an era of frequent skirmishing and our security issues are complex. Our Navy needs a varied mix of ships and capabilities to conduct missions on all fronts to remain second to none. And so today, we bring the versatility of Gabrielle Giffords brings to the fleet. She's tailor-made for operations in places where access may be limited, but where presence matters most. Our ability to command the seas is made possible by the thousands of men and women who work tirelessly to bring ships to life. Shipbuilding is a team sport, and today's commissioning is a testament to the skill and professionalism of the Navy industry shipbuilding team. Many thanks to the Navy's Program Executive Officer, Rear Admiral John Nagley, and also USA's President, Mr. Craig Percivali, for transforming aluminum, cabling, and equipment into the ship we see before us. Well done. In 2012, at the ship's naming, the Secretary of the Navy spoke of Congresswoman Gifford's devotion to our service members and said, what you did in Congress for our military and for those who serve in it gave substance to what America feels for those in uniform. And USS Gabrielle Giffords will show that same devotion for those who uphold the spirit of democracy. Naval tradition holds that a ship's sponsor's spirit guides the ship throughout her service life. This ship is truly blessed to have as her sponsor Dr. Jill Biden someone who has demonstrated unwavering support of our military families for countless years. Dr. Biden, you are a permanent member of the ship's crew, the link between today's plank owners and future sailors who will sail on her. Commander Woodley, our Navy has entrusted you with its best, the finest sailors and the newest warship. May you always embody your ship's motto, I am ready. May God bless this fine ship, her namesake, her crew, and her sponsor, and may God bless America. And now it gives me great pleasure to introduce to you our 39th Vice Chief of Naval Operations. Admiral Bill Moran is a senior naval advisor to the Secretary of the Navy and the Chief of Naval Operations, a naval pilot, he is a graduate of the U.S. Naval Academy and the National War, War College. Ladies and gentlemen, Admiral Bill Moran. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. How are you? It's hot. You're hotter than I am. So I'm going to cut this short because there's some great speakers coming behind me. I am the principal speaker, which means I'm supposed to talk for about an hour and 45 minutes. Not going to happen. This is what we call in the Navy a fine Navy day. Sun's shining, there's a breeze out there, there's chop in the water, and we got a ship behind us, and we got sailors standing in formation. This is a great Navy day. It is also a fabulous maritime city called Galveston, Texas, that has hosted this crew and this ship. Sound of freedom, folks, in a helicopter. But let me uh, just thank, I know there are a lot of folks out there from Galveston and uh, citizens of Texas here to observe this ceremony. I'm really grateful for you, all of you, to be here. Uh, but I gotta tell you, I've been to many commissionings here in the last couple of years, and nobody has done it quite like the city of Galveston. So my hat's off to the commissioning committee and everybody you took great care of us last night. Hey, no kidding, there's been a lot to of discussion up here already about the value that this ship brings to the United States Navy and the nation in both preventing and deterring war, but also if we have to go to war, we're going to kick somebody's you know what and win. And it's because of ships like this and crews like this. But frankly, all this stuff behind you, the, the really cool ship that Craig talked about, the weapons that are on board, the capability of the ship means absolutely nothing, absolutely nothing without its crew. And as we man the rails today, 
blood, blood gets pumped and this ship becomes alive. The heart begins to beat. And frankly, it's blood that's infused by the spirit and the attitude and the courage of its namesake today. We are so proud to be part of Gabrielle Gifford's legacy to the United States Navy. The Navy has named ships after great battles, presidents, cities, states, and a lot of Navy heroes. But we also name ships after heroes to our Navy and our nation. And this wonderful lady is inspiration to every single one of us in uniform and every single one of us who lives in this great country. This past week, we celebrated the 75th anniversary of the Battle of Midway, the single most important, single greatest victory the United States Navy has ever had in its history. We were on December 7th, and leading up to the Battle of Midway, less than six months later, we were outclassed, we were outgunned, we had less experience in combat, we were sure to lose, but we didn't. We didn't because of the perseverance, the resilience, the innovation, the ingenuity, and the talent resident in young men and women who join our Navy to fight for her country. The same perseverance, toughness, and courage that Gabrielle Giffords has demonstrated in her life. The same care that Jill Biden has had for men and women in the United States Navy and the military writ large, for families, both of these women understand what not only service members mean, but what families mean to our United States military. Gabby was a Navy spouse. It is the hardest job in the Navy, bar none. But she knew what it meant to be a Navy spouse. And now, Mark, the roles are reversed. She's got a ship. And you, you like me, are the XO now, so good luck. But I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled for this day for our Navy. I'm thrilled for Gabby Giffords, Joe Biden, the United States, the United States Navy. So thank you to the designers of this great ship, the builders of this great ship, the crew, and all the men and women who will serve on her in the future. Today you deliver the USS Gabrielle Giffords. The day after tomorrow you set sail for San Diego. And you set sail with the spirit and the character of an American hero who we are proud to name the ship after. So God bless her, God bless this ship, and God bless this great land we call America. Thank you very much. Thank you, Admiral Moran. Ladies and gentlemen, the Honorable Hillary Clinton, the 67th Secretary of State and former United States Senator, State of New York. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all for being here to celebrate this extraordinary event, the commissioning of this ship named for a truly great American. It's a deep honor for me to join you, and I want to express my appreciation to everyone who has already addressed the crowd and especially to those who will man this ship, the men and women of the United States Navy. It's a special pleasure to be here with former Vice President Biden and Jill Biden, who as you've heard uh, is the sponsor of this ship to be here with Leader Pelosi and the members of Congress who are here with us, and Congressman Weber, thank you for welcoming us to your district. To be in a city that represents resilience. And Mayor, you can't come to Galveston 
and not have a good time, but it's also a reminder that no matter what hits you, you keep coming back. So thank you. Thank you, Mayor, and thanks to the people of Galveston. I appreciated Admiral Moran mentioning the anniversary of the Battle of Midway. I've just finished reading a wonderful book about three brothers. It's called The Jersey Brothers. How all three of them served in the Navy in World War II. One of them in that battle. One of them a prisoner of war in the Philippines. One of them serving as President Roosevelt's aide, working in the map of the map room of the White House. Reading about that battle, reading about what our country was up against after the attack on Pearl Harbor should make any American's heart swell with pride. Yes, outnumbered, assets destroyed, resources scrambling to get there, the Battle of Midway was a great testament to the courage and spirit, not only of the United States Navy, but of the United States of America. And let us never forget, it is that spirit and our values that keep us going year after year. And that's why it is so fitting that this new, dynamic, extraordinary ship be named, named for the former Congresswoman, Gabrielle Giffords. Just as the motto, I am ready, represents the ship, it represents Gabby Giffords. Served in the State Senate in Arizona, youngest woman ever elected. Elected three times to the House of Representatives where she served on the Armed Services Committee and the Foreign Relations Committee, where she made her mark as Leader Pelosi already referenced in standing up for America's security and standing with the men and women who wear the uniform of our country. We all know what happened to Congresswoman Giffords. We know when she was serving her constituents in the parking lot of a mall, what happened to her and the other innocent people, the constituents, including a child who came to meet their member of Congress. But as with so much, so much else about Gabrielle Giffords, she came out of that experience with grace and faith that is almost hard to imagine. Instead of saying what might be expected and asking the question, why me? She said, how can she make the most out of the life, the miracle, that she represented. And time and time again, she has stood up ready to keep moving forward, to, perse to persevere with her trademark humor, kindness, and relentless optimism. I well remember when she announced she was retiring from the Congress to focus on her recovery but standing on the floor, surrounded by friends and colleagues, she was as resolute and brave as ever. And from that moment forward, with the strong support and partnership of her remarkable husband, she has dedicated her life to helping save the lives of others. Now, Captain Mark Kelly may have traveled all the way to space, and, and his twin brother, Scott Kelly, is here today as well. Their family has more time in space than any family on the face of the Earth, I think. But surely Mark would agree that Gabby's junior journey has been even more remarkable. 
And so, standing here, six years later, nothing gives me greater joy and honor than seeing this great ship named for someone whose strength and resilience is a great lesson to us all. This ship, like its namesake, is extraordinary. We've already heard about its capabilities. It's designed to be agile, quick to adapt, able to swiftly maneuver in the roughest of waters. This ship is a product of American innovation and the skill and dedication of the workers in Mobile, Alabama, who built her. Well, every moment of every day that the sailors who man this ship are given the great privilege of defending our country, they only have to look toward this ship's namesake. They only have to remember what it means to uphold the values of our great nation. As they take this ship over the horizon, they, like all of us, will continue to be inspired by the life and example of Gabrielle Gabby Giffords. It is my great honor to introduce two extraordinary Americans, both of whom have given high service to the United States, both of whom continue to serve the United States, both of whom remind all of us how much more there is to be done on behalf of the nation we love. Please join me in welcoming Captain Mark Kelly and Gabrielle Giffords. I'm so happy to be here with you today. This is an incredible honor. The USS Gabrielle Gipper is strong and tough, just like her crew. I thought of you in my darkest days, the soldiers, sailors, airmen, and Marines of the United States of America. We ask so much of you. Despite danger, you say yes. Do you make me proud? You make America proud. I will never forget this day or the crew of the USS Gabriel Giffords. Fair winds and following seas. Thank you very much. Thank you for that, everybody. You know, I got to say, you know, Gabby, Gabby had a few notes, but I don't know if you noticed, she never looked at them. But on the other hand, I think like the rest of us, I will have to look at my notes. Um, it is so wonderful to be here. I want to thank Secretary Clinton and Vice President Biden and Dr. Jill Biden especially for being partners with us on this as the sponsor of the USS Gabriel Giffords. We're so excited for all the years ahead where Gabby and I are going to support the crew and the officers of this amazing Navy ship. And what a great day it is here in the state of Texas. 
and in Galveston County, where I lived for 15 years. I'm so happy to be here. It's really close to NASA, where I worked. I got some NASA colleagues here, some Navy buddies, Merchant Marine Academy, Gabby's former members that she served with in Congress, her colleagues in the State Senate and the State House, and I think even some El Campo tire people are here. Uh, so good morning, everybody. You know, I've got to say that I hope the rest of these LCS ships have an easier time following the USS Gabriel Giffords than I'm going to have following my amazing wife in giving a speech. This is hard for me. And thank you to the US Navy for this fabulous commissioning ceremony. And thank you to Austell USA for building such a great and worthy ship. Thank you very much. You know, this morning we've heard how appropriate it is to name a US Navy warship after a woman possessing the courage and grit of my wife, former Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords. The characteristics that she exemplifies, like strength, toughness, and resilience, are after all the same attributes, attributes that you'd seek in a warship. Like Gabby, this ship will face down some lethal threats, but it will persevere through that adversity and it will leave our lesser adversaries in her great giant wake out of the back of the ship. You know, however, those of you who know Gabby best know this. What connects her most to the USS Gabriel Giffords is not 418 feet of gray metal. It is not her top speed of nearly 50 knots, maybe more than that, but we can't admit it. It's not her shallow draft. It's not her fierce and stealthy construction, nor the four engines that let this ship turn on a dime. It's not even Gabby's name that's emblazoned on the back of the hull. It's simply this. It's the crew. The crew, the men and women and their shared commitment to a value more American than any other. And you know what that is? That is service. It is their service, the men and women behind the stage, it's their service that keep us strong, and it's their service that lets us all sleep safely at night. You know, it was service that led Gabby to Congress. It was service that led her to seek a role on the Armed Services Committee where she spent countless hours working on behalf of the men and women of our military. Service guided her as a proud Navy spouse. I think the only Navy spouse in Congress at the time. And it was service as a Navy spouse where she supported me from the moment she married me into the day I left the Navy. This values of value of service connected her to the people of Arizona and to the citizens of our great nation. It's what lies at the heart of our marriage and our commitment to each other. Today, it is what grounds our appreciation for the men and women of the USS Gabriel Giffords. So to the crew, on behalf of everybody assembled here today, thank you for your service, and know that as long as Gabby and I live, we will be here to support and serve you. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you, Congresswoman Giffords and Captain Kelly. Admiral Moran, I'd be honored if you join me at the podium and place Gabriel Giffords into commission. Yep. 
On behalf of the Secretary of the Navy and for the President of the United States, I hereby place United States ship Gabriel Giffords in commission. May God bless and guide this warship and all who sail, who shall sail in her. Thank you, Admiral Moran. Executive Officer, hoist the colors and the commission pennant. Aye, aye, sir. Gabriel Giffords, a 10, hut. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. I direct your attention to the ship's mast as we hoist the colors and the commissioning pennant. Quartermaster, hoist the colors and commissioning pennant. Aye, aye, sir. Captain, the colors and commissioning pennant are flying over USS Gabriel Giffords. Very well. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. I'll now read my orders. From Chief of Naval Personnel to Commander Keith Woodley, United States Navy. We will orders. 6254, 14 August 2015, when directed, detach USS Kaufman and proceed to pre commission unit Gabriel Giffords for duties in conjunction with outfitting, upper end commission of USS Gabriel Giffords, report as the commanding officer. Admiral Moran, Gabriel Giffords is in command, is in commission, and I'm in command. Executive officer, set the watch. Aye, aye, sir. Officer of the deck, set the first watch. Aye, aye, sir. The officer of the deck is the commanding officer's direct representative, and while on watch is responsible for the safety and smooth operation of the ship and her crew. The, the long glass is the traditional symbol of an officer of the deck's authority 